So hi, my name is Andres Martinez. I'm a fourth year graduate student in the Whitesides group at Harvard. Uh, the group's led by Professor George Whiteside. It's a very dynamic, multidisciplinary group. Uh, they work on, or we work on all sorts of uh, different fields and subjects, including um, material science, chemistry, biology, some physics. Uh, it's a wonderful place to be a researcher and a graduate student because you get exposed to so many different fields and um, types of research projects. My research focuses on the development of simple diagnostic assays. Our main focus is to make them as cheap as possible. Uh, our sort of motto is zero cost diagnostics. Uh, the idea there is that you could have portable small uh, diagnostic devices that you could take with you in your pocket, say to Africa, and test a large population quickly and cheaply. Um, so the social implications are, are many. Um, ultimately, the goal is to reduce uh, or lower the impact of certain diseases in developing countries. I think I was always, I always loved answering questions, uh, solving puzzles, uh, answering riddles, and um, that sort of naturally drew me to the to the sciences and. Um, in particular, chemistry, I think, I uh, became interested in because it somehow is the, I felt, the fundamental, um, it studies the fundamentals behind all these interesting phenomena in biology and, and, um, and that we see in life every day. And it allows you to understand things you know, at a molecular level and hopefully use that to make predictions about the world, the way the world works. <laughs> So we've been recently working with uh, these simple paper diagnostic devices uh, focused on detecting uh, liver disease. And liver diseases are um, very important for monitoring the general health of a person. So by monitoring their health of their liver, you can then learn a lot about the health of the person. And we've been recently working on a series of tests that will predict um, and diagnose the condition of a patient's liver. So we're also working on an immunoassay for HIV, which is um, a significant step in the progress of our whole research program. So we've been focusing initially on very simple tests for something like glucose or a protein or a ketones, very small molecules that you find in urine or in blood. Uh, but the more important types of diagnostic assays are based on antibodies and antibody detection. And um, we're now moving into that area, and our first target is going to be HIV, since it has such a large impact in developing countries. We measure the levels of four different uh, analytes. Three of them are enzymes, and one is just uh, general uh, serum albumin levels. So. The, um, the enzymes are alkaline phosphatase, glutamyl transferase, and um, beta amino transferase. And uh, in any disease state, the levels of the enzymes will either go up significantly or go down significantly. And depending on that trend, you can make predictions about what type of disease is affecting the patient. Uh, I think the first time I sort of fell in love with science was when we were dissecting frogs in about fifth grade. Um, and it was just wonderful to see sort of a living organism and see how everything worked inside. And, um, you know, I feel like a lot, of my, a lot of my fellow students were grossed out, but I was so excited about it. So I think that was, that was the memorable experience. <laughs> I'd like to become a teacher. Um, I'd like to work at a smaller college or university. Um, I think my main interest is to teach chemistry at the college level. I'd love to do some research, uh, primarily with undergraduates, focusing on very s sort of simple concept type projects, exactly like what I'm working on now, um, but that also have very realistic uh, applications for the real world. And uh, I guess my legacy would be to 
be remembered as a good teacher and um, and hopefully inspire younger students to go into science.